Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League and Predictions. And um, there's a few results that I weren't quite expecting. A few results that I probably thought one team was in the lead, so you know overall I think they deserve a win, but well done for the other teams coming back in. Um but anyway guys, you know what I do. Guys, this video is sponsored by LOL T-shirt company. And they sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below. But anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Bradford vs Scunthorpe. Um, Bradford loses 2-1 away to Crawley Town. Disappointing day for Bradford there, if I'm all honest. Um, Scunthorpe loses 2-1 at home against Newport. Yet again, a bit of a disappointing day for Scunthorpe. Um, they were doing ever so well, um, you know, and now they seem to hit this massive gap. Um, they've lost two in the, out of the last, well, no, they've lost four out of the last five, to be honest. Um, Bradford, on the other hand, winning two out of the last five, drawing two and losing the other one, which obviously is a quality result. Um, and going forward with this game, I'm going to go for a bit of a surprise and I'm going to go for a 2 1 scum for win. My next one is Cambridge versus Stevenage. Um, Stevenage losing 1 0 at home to Newport. Um, Cambridge losing 2 0 away to Exeter. Going forward with this game, um, I think it's very much going to be a good game. Um, you got Cambridge in 16th, Stevenage bottom of the league, um, Stevenage not won in their last five. You got Cambridge have only won one game in their last five, and that's a few weeks back. Um, so going forward with this one, I think it's going to be quite an interesting one. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Colchester versus Macclesfield. Um, Colchester uh, drawing 1 1 away to Morecambe. Um, bit of a disappointing day for Colchester, maybe. Um, obviously, you're the real fan. Please feel free how you, how you feel about your results down below. Um, Macclesfield drawing 1 1 at home to Oldham. Um, I think Macclesfield went 1 0 up in that game as well. Um, but, you know, things are looking down for Macclesfield. Only won one game out of their last five, and that was last week. Um, Colchester, on the other hand, only won out of their last five and drawn the other four. Um, this I think this game is going to be quite an interesting one, but I'm going to go for a 2-1 Colchester win. My next one is Crew Alexander versus Cheltenham Town. Um... Cheltenham Town beating Walsall 3 1 at home. Um, Crew Alexander losing 3 1 away from home to Swindon Town. Um, I've had a big result, um, big result and a big statement from the Swindon Town perspective. Um, you know, playing Cheltenham this weekend, another top clash, another. Top, you know, change position clash as well. And um, Crew are currently in fourth, Cheltenham are in third. Um, this game, I mean, Cheltenham have won two out of the last five, Crew have won three out of the last five, but because of that result on the previous weekend for Crew, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Forest Green versus Salford City. Um, Salford City loses 2 1 at home to Newport. I think I might have got that one on the dot. Please feel free to let me know. Um, you know, this game's going to be ever so slightly more interesting um, from a Salford's perspective. Forest Green um, beating Mansfield. 4-3 away from home. And Mansfield went 2-0 up in that game as well. Um, 
I'm going to go for this one a 2 0 Forest Green win. My next one is Grimsby Town versus Exeter. Exeter beating Cambridge United 2 0 at home. Grimsby drawing 1 1 away from home to Lank Norian. Um, Exeter, you know, winning throughout that last five. Um, Grimsby are currently 17th, winning two out of the last five, drawing the other three. Uh, I'm quite tempted to call this one a draw, a surprising draw. I know a few of you guys ain't going to like it, but this is just my opinion. You all feel free to special and down in the comments below. Um, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Newport versus Swindon Town. Um, Swindon Town uh, beating Crew 3 1 at home. Um, very good three points for Swindon Town. Newport beating Scunthorpe 2 1 away from home. Um, Swindon Town top of the league by three points. Um, great three points as well by Swindon Town. I know I've sort of already stated that um, in this video, um, but I still found some great three points by Swindon Town. Newport um, coming in at eleven, winning two, uh, one game at their last five. Swindon Town throughout the last five. I'm going to call this a Swindon Town win and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Swindon Town win. My next one is Northampton Town versus Morecambe. Um, Northampton Town beating Sulphur City 2 1 away from home. As I've said, I think I hit that bang on the button. Um, it's up to you guys. Or if you do remember, feel free, feel free to let me know. Um, Morecambe 1-1 at home to Colchester. Not a bad point for Morecambe, who are currently at 23rd and only won one game out of their last five. Northampton Town 2 at their last five. I'm going to go for a shock and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Morecambe win. My next one is Oldham Athletic versus Carlisle. Um, Carlisle losing 3 0 at home to Plymouth Argyle. Great three points for Plymouth. Um, Oldham 1 1 away to Macclesfield. Um, this game's going to be quite an interesting one. It's tight in the table, two points separate both clubs, both with a very similar record. Actually, both got the same record. Um, you know, winning one out of their last five, losing three out of their last five, and only drawing the last like one of their games. So, you know, very same record. I'm gonna go for a draw, and I'm gonna go for a very boring nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Plymouth Argyle versus Mansfield. Plymouth Argyle, um, beating Plymouth <laughs> Plymouth beating Carlisle. 3-0 at home. Um, Mansfield losing 4-3 at home to uh, Forest Green. I feel very... Um, I think it's very unfortunate. They went 2-0 up in that game as well. Um, obviously, if you're a Mansfield fan, please feel, free have, uh, please feel free to put your comments down below how you feel. Um, but this game is going to be interesting for me matter of reasons. Um, one's for Mansfield to get back on winning ways. Um, Plymouth currently in fifth, winning four out of the last five. Um, Mansfield are in 18, winning one out of the last five. That would have been a great three points for Mansfield as well, going forward. Um, how do I call this? I'm going to go for a Plymouth Argyle win, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Plymouth Argyle win. My next one is Port Vale versus Lake Norian. Um, Lake Norian drawing at home with Grimsby Town 1-1. Um, Port Vale beating Stevenage 1-0 away from home. Um, Port Vale are currently in 10th, not lost in their last five. Um, Lake Norian only won one game out of the last five. 
I'm going to go for a Port Vale win and I'm going to go for a 3 nil Port Vale win. My last one for this weekend is Walsall versus Crawley. Crawley beating Bradford 2-1 at home. Walsall losing 3-1 away from home to Cheltenham Town. Walsall winning three out of the last five. Um, you know, not bad thing for Walsall. Um, Crawley winning two out of the last five, drawing the other three. Um, point between the two clubs, but I'm going to stick up for Crawley and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Crawley Town win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a little big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.